What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. Join us online at www.whatsupinthesky.com where we got the forums finally slowly starting to rock and roll. All you gotta do is sign up for an account and if I haven't reached 10,000 subscribers yet, which we're getting really close, I think we're about 150 away, maybe something like that, I'll be giving away a Curiosity Rover, well, a Lego one. You guys, I, I've got a video of me putting one together. It's pretty fun to put together. I felt like a little kid again. Um... But uh, this was another one sent. If you watched the video yesterday, uh, this one another sent in by Remy, the buddy on Facebook I met, and this is just too cool. This is a picture from uh, Saul 635, and there's a lot of interesting stuff in there. And if you know my theory on Mars, that uh, something happened to it, there's a cataclysm. Stuff was just tossed about. Um, you know, basically what would happen if we maybe rolled up on, say, Las Vegas, it's out in the desert, right? Say say maybe 1,000 years from now or 200 years from now, if there was a, say, a bomb went off there, something happened there. And uh, this is what I think we'd be rolling up on, you know, a lot of stuff that looks like concrete. Now you've got NASA that hides the different colors. Um, but this is something pretty neat. There's a couple of neat things in this picture. And this could also be some signs of underwater coral or something like that. Or maybe stuff that used to live underwater. Um, you know, you, you, you tell me. Because I look like we've got a very ornate piece of uh, rock here. that looks like it had been cut out on purpose. But down here at the bottom of it is what really what's uh, caught my attention right away. It looks to be a perfect spirit. It almost looks like a, uh, like a pearl. Or something along those lines. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use some of these color enhancements. Over here is interesting too, these pieces. Almost like there could be a machine of some sort. Because look down here too where we're going to see uh, things where, you know, man, you guys come and say that you guys must be on drugs. And every single one of you guys that watch this channel are on drugs, man. You guys been smacking up and smoking weed. Because I tell you what, you guys see nothing but rocks. Don't you ever heard of Paradoia or whatever the name. I don't even know how you say it. Or <laughs> Don't you know about Matrixing, man? No. There's enough videos on my channel, and especially look, go look at Mars Anomalies and uh, my boy over, uh, Christian over at, at Olympus Sky. He's doing great work right now, and they really get into the Photoshop way deeper than me. I'm just trying to get you the pictures, get enough out there. I'm trying to do quantity, you know, and I give him my little, you know, my how I feel for the day. You get to know me a little bit. It's funny. It's, I'm very humbled with how many people email me and say, man, I'm addicted to your videos or... You know, I feel like I know you, you know, like you're, uh, I try and invite you into my life. I tell you guys what I'm doing. You know, some people that turns off, like I said, I've been getting real, the trolls and stuff have been hitting me pretty hard. And it's pretty funny, I must say, so. All right, so let's see, let me just do the auto color and see what happens. Now, I do believe that's more what it looks like if I was standing on that planet. Um, for some reason, I think NASA puts in that false color. It's like that puke color right here that, that's. Seems to change throughout the, you know, where we are. Down here looks kind of like a chain link something. But look at this here and tell me this does not look like some sort of machine. And look at the color of it. It's got blue in it. It's uh, got some sort of... And, it, and it's connected to this thing right here. Look at this right here. It comes out. It comes over. Now, I really want you to tell me that that's just a, a rock from nature. Come on, somebody. Please, please. Come explain this to us. Tell us how that's a rock and how it gets made. Uh, maybe... Maybe there's molds that make rocks up there on Mars. I think we're looking at an ancient civilization. Or possibly a one that's still being used. Really small aliens. I'm, I'm starting to maybe think that might be true some. You know, maybe the only thing that survived were little bitty things. Um, the planet's smaller. And who are we to sit here and judge how big something should or should not be? You know, scale to me does not matter. Cause first off, because NASA doesn't give a crap. And they don't give a scale. <laughs> first off, very... And the times we do get scale, it's like the guys who research this stuff look at each other and like, are you sure that's right? I mean, this doesn't look, this does, this this looks way too, uh, no way, that's not right. But let me just sharpen it up a little bit. Let me do a little, play with the amount a little. Let me sharpen it up a lot. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm playing. I'm, I'm trying to play a little bit more with Photoshop with you guys. I know that's what Christian and those guys do a lot, so I leave that to them. They're really the masters at it. Um, and Christian really is over at the Olympus Sky. He's, he's somebody to be... Their, their channels are starting to blow up. It's awesome. They're, they're, I'm so excited. So many more people are starting to do channels. Like, I had somebody complaining the other day about 
people that come on the channel, you know what I mean? Then me actually using other people's suggestions and videos. He like, don't you find your own stuff? I'm like, man, half the stuff, half of my videos are stuff I found. And the majority, I want you to see all of them. That's why I want you to subscribe to my website, subscribe to this, because I want you to download all these pictures. So if they ever disappear from the internet, we all have them. It's all about sharing. NASA put these out. They don't belong to anybody. You know, so if you guys take the time to look the stuff up and you don't have an outlet, you send your pictures to me. And believe me, I've got 50 people sending me pictures. And sometimes it's hard to keep up with, but I try my best. You know, I try to make comments, you know, all with a full-time job, full-time life. And I think I'm doing pretty good. You guys do seem to come back. I've got my people that come and come and come. And they give me a bunch of good – always hit the like buttons. And because, look, this is the stuff that I'm going to provide. When I pull a picture out of my email box – I decided to put it up. This is where this is the kind of picture I take because I see all sorts of shapes in here, not just you know random shapes. I see shapes that look like they match up, especially down in here where you've got this bright piece that looks like something totally different. It's very ornate over here, but you also have the same type of uh, color affecting and smudging that NASA does with their with, and I do believe it's being done at the computer level to break up some of this stuff so we don't see it. So let me go ahead and step backwards here and uh, I can do it with my, I should do it with the keyboard. Here, doesn't this kind of look like some sort of face? And tell me that nature makes these, these type of half crescent moon shapes. I just haven't seen it here on the earth. And believe me, I've been, I've been all around. You know, I've gotten out. I've seen the world. I'm, they look young. I'm 33 years old. I've worked hard my whole life, and I really have been able, blessed to be able to travel through for work, for various things. And whenever I go somewhere interesting I haven't been, I always try to take pictures, especially places like uh, – because at first I think this stuff looks like Arizona. You know, it looks like out there. Is that where the river is? A lot of times I've sat and thought that, but I try to take pictures. But wait till you see some of this stuff. Here's that S that we constantly see on the planet. Right there. Let me do the contrast. Let's see real fast. Stop, Paul. All right. Had to take care of some quick business. All right. See that S there? It looks like a Q on there. That stuff just does not randomly sitting on a on a rock somewhere. I mean, even if this was like lava rock, you don't see that in nature here. And the planet form that is most likely a spit and image of ours at one time, except just a little bit smaller. Check this out here. Very interesting. One, two, three, four shapes. This looks like a piece of uh, metal or something, or something that has, you know, divots and, and bolts, something in it. I mean, that's definitely something. That's not just nature making that, making that out. I mean, when I can't, I can't see it happening that way. Look here. Let me see if I can't mess with the. Uh, Hold on, just exposure. Let me pull the gamma out a little bit because I do love doing this. And uh, I do believe it pulls some of it out. And then we're also going to do a quick, let's sharpen it up just a little bit. Sharpen, sharpen, smart sharpen. And then we're going to definitely pull it back some. We don't want to try it that much because we've already put a lot into it uh, with the gamma. So let's see what happens here. But this stuff is just shapes to me. Now, people also see in these pictures things. Now, what I also look for is stuff that moves. Like the last picture I did um, the la that I had asked, do you think this is strange life? It, I don't think it's life now because I saw, finally found another picture of it. And it's still in that same position. So whatever that rock is or whatever that thing is, that basin, it looks like it was part of some sort of machinery. But uh, I'm just, just sitting here looking at this. I'm sure that my subscribers and people that, you know, with a keen eye can pull out all sorts of things that don't look at natural here, you know, that look out of place. Um, and then you can also pull out the smudging that was done on here. Hopefully you're watching my video in 1080. You got to look at this things here. One, two, three, four, five, and then it connects down to here. Um, right here, some interesting things. Look at that right there. Circles. Oh, you, that's pretty cool. I mean, this stuff, it's just all over these pictures. And uh, let me go back to that mean anomaly. Here it was again. I don't think I even show you guys. Usually I show you guys where it is. Here's a picture you can get it from. Always link below. Always link everything. I try and uh, make sure that's, like I said, that's the reason we're doing this. So everybody can have a copy of this stuff. 
more of what seems to be. Look, there's that S again. Man, that S is everywhere on Mars. Um, some block types. Look at that. That's a 90, 180 degrees. You know, perfect. Some stuff here that looks like it's been blurred out. I mean, it gets. It gets kind of annoying. Look at this kind of. <laughs> this is probably just major interesting. But tell me that doesn't look like just a uh, one of the gray aliens you see on TV or you see anywhere. Uh, the description of it. Like I said, these rocks are either very maybe we're underwater, and some of this stuff was done like coral gets done. But this to me looks like writing all over. It looks like something you'd find down in Mexico, or you know down in South America where they when they wrote on stuff they're very. You know, very ornate, a lot of lines, a lot of little pictures. It wasn't as it wasn't the same as Egypt. The writing isn't so much different. But see the, the double, like you see two perfect circles right there. These looks like they look like they were put there on purpose. Here you see another one. Here you see another one. They're about the same sizes. And you just gotta wonder, does nature do that? And it very well could. Like I said, I, I'm I see what I see. You see what you see. That's the one of my mottos here. I always like to stress. Um, tell me that's not cool. Look at those two little faces. One, two, looking out. And who really knows what we actually, you know, what, you know, let's just say that this is just a thought of mine. Say there's two dimensions, you know, so many dimensions here on Earth, right? Imagine if it's the same on every planet, and we're only getting to peek into one dimension, if that makes any sense at all to you. If it makes any another S right there, so look at this little. And what does that? What makes this right here? You know, perfect. This is you know a perfect straight bridge across over there. It's even got the shadow under here, and you can tell because the shadow goes up. Watch, let me show you this here. So what dimension will we be in? You know, it, there could maybe we're just looking at one little piece of Mars that only our p cameras can see. Our dimension. The world, you know, we're, we don't even know what's going on here. And so many people come and act like they know exactly what's on Mars. And that's not what this channel is about. This channel, my website and everything is about open up everybody. Come on, tell, let's all talk, you know. Um, you might get to where we have like chats or something. I was thinking about having some chats and invite because uh, yeah, there's everybody's starting to collaborate on this stuff. Um, you know, if you could check out the. Christian, like I said, Mars Anomalies and the Olympus Sky just did two really neat chats. Um, go check that stuff out. All sorts of good stuff going on. Maybe we should do some of that stuff here. Maybe do some chats. I've got some software that can do it. Oh, look at this stuff you do here. Now, I don't know. Some of y'all can see that and just say, oh, that's just rocks and that's just, you know, maybe. And granted, I understand that there are a lot of rocks that look like this. Um, You know, porous. You know that's that's what I'm saying. But I don't see those rocks having the shapes in them and and repeating the shapes. Look at this little thing down here. Tell me that doesn't look like a little demon guy with holding something that's got like a little perfect circle on it, kind of like a garden gnome. But all right, guys, let's check that out one more time. What I actually came here to show you this area, and then we'll go ahead and we'll bring it back to how NASA brought it out. There's there goes that. There goes that. There it goes back to how we see it. What's up in the sky 37? My name is Will. www.whatsupinthesky.com. Sorry if you got an iPhone. Your phone's blowing up. My phone's always blowing up. Always something to do. Love you guys. Let me know what you think. Share this with your friends. Much love to you. Oh, I didn't even show the rope down here. Let me just hit this rope up real quick before I go. I won't even do my last spiel again. I promise. I promise. I'm just going to auto contrast it. There's that. Image, auto color, and we're out of here. Much love.